Welcome back, fans of all things Disney. I just made an impromptu trip to Florida to fill out the paperwork for my new job that I'll be starting in a couple of months. And I figured while I was down here, uh, getting to stay in our brand new house, something that I've been looking forward to doing, that I would take a quick run into Disney World and to do a little bit of shopping. I did just get um, another subscription box order, so I had a lot of fun shopping for this particular person, and I, I hope she really enjoys everything that we were able to find for her. So it's kind of a hodgepodge. It's a, a little bit of everything from this trip, plus some things that I didn't bring home with us uh, from the last trip. So hope hope you enjoy all these different things that we were able to find. The first thing and the thing I am most excited about is this beautiful carry-on piece of luggage. It's normally, I want to say it's about $160. And the Character Warehouse had this well below half price on that. So um, hopefully our customer for our subscription box will love that because that's going to be coming in the mail to her very, very soon. I don't believe she watches the video, so I don't think I'm ruining any surprise there. In addition to that, we have two full bags, monster bags of uh, different items that we were able to pick up at the Character Warehouse today. Uh, this one is a Mickey Mouse Vitalmation, a popcorn Vitalmation. It's really adorable and they're uh, listed from the Shanghai Disney Resort. So that was something that we absolutely had to get because it was just too adorable. I found this really uh, quite adorable. It's a little bit of a backpack, so I'm not sure, um, I'm not sure how often I would use something like this, but I think for fun, if I was just going into the parks for a little bit of time, um, that I would use something like this. And this was also well below half price on it. Absolutely love the character warehouse. You can get amazing deals there. Another item that we found is this really cute um, Monsters, Inc. coffee mug set. There's Sully and Mike on there. And you can see the characters and then on the back, so big, so cute, so little, so cute. So um, that set was just kind of precious and the sort of thing that would bring a smile to my face. So I figured we have to get it. One of the items that I purchased just for our house, um, See, these are some hand towels, and if you look closely, you can see there, you can see it's just a very delicate uh, Mickey icon that's uh, put into the towel. I have some washcloths and some other things very much like it, and they had these today, uh, so I grabbed quite a few for the new house. I do have a baby shower that I'm going to be going to, or actually I'm just sending a gift because we will have already moved, but I do have a baby shower coming up, and... I just couldn't resist anything with Minnie Mouse for a little baby girl and, of course, the ruffled skirt. It's just too cute. It's too cute. Uh, lots and lots of other things. Found some refrigerator magnets for the new house. Those will be going up momentarily, actually, as soon as I'm done with this. Some Magic Band Bandits. Fab four there. Also, they had quite a few pins, and I was really excited about this one. Uh, these are normally about $15 for the different race weekends, and uh, if you had seen the other video, I, I did go, I, I did participate in all of the events from the Princess Race Weekend, and it was a wonderful experience. I really enjoyed it, but this particular pin I passed on because I got each of the specific event pins, um, and those are about $15 each. So was this one. So I passed on it. They had this at the Character Warehouse today for $0.99. Cents. So I passed on it uh, when it was responsible to do so, but at $0.99, cents, that came home with me today. Then they also had these absolutely beautiful, I'll show a close-up of that in just a little bit, but beautiful opening of Shanghai Disneyland Resort pens. Absolutely gorgeous with all the detailing. It is a 3D or multi-dimensional pin, um, and with the glitter, it's just really striking, and they had those for $4, so I had to grab one of those for myself. This I also grabbed for myself. If you had watched um, another video that we did on kind of our pin haul for pin trading, I did find some of the pins uh, when I was doing my pin trading the last time, and which is what introduced me to this set, but they had the entire set at the Character Warehouse, so I went ahead and grabbed that, and the ones that I had traded for will now become traders. I also 
ended up, because I love Duffy, I also ended up picking up the Shanghai um, opening Duffy pen. And again, I'll do a kind of a close up of that so you can take a look. And then I also picked up, um, they had some more of the Pin Quest pins. And this one, it's difficult to see in the wrapper, but um, it's a, a Dumbo pin. And they were very inexpensive. So I figured, you know, those make really nice trading pins. So we'll go ahead with that. Now, just because it's closest to me, not I didn't get this stuff at the character warehouse, but it's closest to me on the floor. So I did finally pick up my pass holder band to go on my magic band. I did get two of the pass holder magnets today, which that's fantastic. I've been looking forward to those. And my absolute favorite thing that I, I purchased today, this is a magic band that I saw online on Mother's Day. And I'd been looking for a magic band that I really, really wanted, and I had never seen a design that I liked, but this one just really spoke to me. Um, not only does it have that kind of cute case that looks like a trunk, like a traveling trunk, um, and then the inside is beautiful, but the magic band itself is stunning. It's got the new passport design on it, so you can see part of that on the one side, and then it has the individual passport stamps on the other side. And this is a Dooney and Burke, so there's that little holder there for it. So I treated myself. My parents had given me a gift card for my birthday, and you know I treated myself. This was my big splurge, and with the annual pass holder discount, it, was, it wasn't terrible. But now I have a brand new, very stylish, uh, magic band being a Florida resident very soon within a month and a handful of days uh, So that'll be that'll be fun. I have a feeling when I do the drive from New York I will be wearing it the whole way. I know kind of silly, but whatever makes you smile, right? And then I also found this 45th anniversary Coffee mug which I just thought was really it was beautiful and I've held off on getting it for the last couple of times I don't know why it's just kind of heavy um but it, it's really fantastic. And that I think probably is more of a beer stein than a coffee mug, but I don't drink a lot of beer. So that'll be, um, that will be used for coffee primarily, I would imagine. Also found some really cute um, wooden playthings. I'm not sure if I'll give this as a gift to somebody or maybe just hold it for the subscription box company, but I bought a few of those because I just thought it was really cute. Found this precious little hat for, you know, for a little girl once upon a time, and it's got some of the different princess castles from some of the different movies. Just really a, a cute item, and it reminded me of a hat that we had for my daughter when she was very little and our first trip to Disney and she actually lost it and it was kind of devastating to her and to us because it was hard to try to find it. Then since we are moving to Florida, I couldn't resist getting myself, you know, a white um, hat and it's got that really cute little Minnie Mouse icon on it. It was very inexpensive at the character warehouse. So we added that to my hat collection. I'm fairly pale skinned and to now live in Florida, I'm, I'm going to need those. Probably next to the suitcase, the find for the day has to be the spirit jersey that they had at the character warehouse. Uh, a nice navy blue uh, spirit jersey. And if, if you have looked at these online at all, they are the, one of the hottest new items. They have them in a whole bunch of different designs now. They're kind of flying off the shelf, so I was surprised to see one at the Character Warehouse, but I was very grateful that I did. Then I found this little Oswald bag as well. I've become a, a kind of a fan of Oswald as of late. I'm not sure why, but um, I just thought that that would be fun to put some makeup or even pencils or pens or things like that in your junk drawer, you know, but just keep them all together. This is a shirt uh, that I found at the Character Warehouse, Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, and I've seen this in the gift shop outside of Tower of Terror before and have been so tempted to get it, and I just didn't for whatever reason. Um, they had it, so I went ahead and I treated, um, treated myself. 
Then I also found these and my mom was with me today and she looked at me when I picked these up off the shelf as if to say, what are you doing? This is a toy, why would you possibly want that? But you know, they are Disney buses. You've got your regular transportation, you've got the cruise, I'm sorry, you've got the Magical Express, you've got the cruise and you have the regular transportation and they're just cute, I don't know. And I'm, I'm starting to get to the point where anything that makes you smile, those are the things you just surround yourself with, so. And now that we're moving to Florida, I'm going to be smiling a lot, I think, because I get to go to Disney kind of whenever I feel like it, which is going to be fun. Um, I also found this really beautiful uh, purple Disney long, long sleeved tee. The fabric is very, very soft um, and it's pretty light. So something like that will, will be nice, I think. So just a little bit when it's a little bit chilly, but it's not cold. Something like that would be good. Then I did get myself a Zoom Zoom uh, mystery pack, the um, the Christmas Carol mystery pack. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open it just because I wanna see what's in there. So let's see, I'm hoping I don't get any traders and this is not a trader, so that's the Mickey Mouse. Not sure if that would be Tiny, Tiny Tim, I'm thinking that it is. And I didn't have that one from when I did all my pin trading. Let's see what this one is. I swear this plastic is like, oh, excellent. All right, so, and the ghost. I didn't have the ghost either, so this will be great. We'll put those right in the pin binder. My pin binder is getting pretty insane and out of control, but that's okay. There are worse things. Then I did pick up a notebook from Shanghai Disney Resort, um, just because I really, I love to, I love notebooks. I love to put notes and things in them. I grabbed another one of those. Okay, so that's what I have from this trip. So I'll share some of the things I got from the last trip just because they are also fabulous. Um, just like those hand towels that I picked up today, these are a different color, but also, you know, uh, neutral color. You can see the little Mickey icon that's in there. I grabbed a couple of sets of these just because you always need washcloths and they're Disney, you know, you gotta have, gotta have washcloths. So you might as well have Disney washcloths. Um, I picked up a Chewbacca <laughs> a stuffed animal. Just, I don't know why. I love Star Wars and he was $10. And I thought, okay, well he's adorable. So he's gonna come home with us. And picked up a Mickey Mouse from the Shanghai Disney grand opening and loved the colors, loved the jacket. He's a pretty dapper dude in this outfit, so I wanted him to come home. I picked up some more magnets. Our refrigerator is definitely gonna be all Disney-fied. Um, picked up, let's see here, they had a set of tongs as well with the Mickey gloves there, but that was just a cute item and I figured that's adorable for the kitchen. And I think my favorite thing that I got the last time when I came down, we had come down with a, a school field trip and many of us had run the, um, the 5K, the Star Wars Dark Side 5K. Um, and they had this little figure, which is of course BB-8 and he's got the little lighter with the thumbs up. And I don't know, I just thought it was adorable. And even though I didn't run the half marathon for that weekend because I was with the school group, I just wanted to get it, you know, it was just something really cute. I might put him right next to um, my Minnie Mouse dressed up as the princess from the Princess Half Marathon Weekend, I'm not sure yet, but. So that's what we picked up on our last couple of shopping trips, both to the Character Warehouse and into the parks. Hope you enjoyed walking through all of the different stuff with us. If you have never been to the Character Warehouse and you kind of like the variety of different items that I was able to uh, shop for, it's definitely something for you to consider going to. And if you've ever considered uh, purchasing from a subscription box company, please feel free to give Mickey's Magical Delivery uh, a chance to kind of fill your wants and your wishes. I will leave the link to the subscription box service below in the description. Uh, so please feel free to check us out. Until the next time I do a video, which will probably be as a Florida resident, uh, you have a magical, magical May and June. Bye-bye. Uh,